Hi everybody, this is Bo Sanchez here in Preacher in Blue Jeans. And I pray that you will be blessed today, especially in the message and in the story I'm going to share with you. A very simple, funny story, but I pray that that word of being able to remove from us negative, negative talk about ourselves, it's going to heal you, it's going to change your life. Watch this. There was a class of students and a teacher, a wise teacher. The, the students were small and noisy, and sometimes they fight with each other. And the teacher said, get a piece of paper, everyone. And all the kids got a long you know, piece of paper. And the teacher said, write the names of all your classmates. Leave spaces between the names. So the, you know, the kids started writing the names of their classmates and left spaces between the names. And then the teacher said, under each name, I want you to write good stuff that you see in the other person. Good stuff that the person did to you. Come on. And so for an R, the whole class, the kids started writing and writing. At the end of the class, they gave all the pieces of paper to the teacher. On the next class, you know what the teacher did? She, she got these, these words. From, 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 from the class. And, and what she did was she wrote the name of, of each student on top of the paper, like that. And then she wrote everything that the other classmates wrote about her. You got me? And so it was a piece of paper of all the honoring, of all the good stuff written about that person. And she gave each student, here is your paper, here is your paper, here is your paper, here is your paper. And the classmates and all the kids, they, they read that and they said, Wow. Wow, really? I, I did this to you? Wow, this is me to you? And they were very happy. After that, they never talked about it again. They were small kids. Years went by. One day the teacher was called. She received a letter. One of her students, who became a soldier, died at war. And she, so she, she, she wanted to be at the funeral. She went to the funeral and all her former students, now grown up, were surrounding the coffin. And she was there looking at this guy in military uniform inside the coffin. And she said, my gosh, there's my student. There's my student. And she looked around her. Oh, these are my former students. They're all grown up. And then the mother of the one who died approached her. And the mother said, are you his teacher? And, and she said, yes, very proud to be. And the mother said, I have to show you something. This was in his wallet when he died. And she pulled out a folded and refolded old piece of paper. And the teacher already knew, already knew what it was. It was a piece of paper kept from long ago. And she opened the letter and true enough, there were all the good stuff that the other classmates said about him. And the mother said, this was so important to my son. And as she was speaking, lo and behold, the, the, the young girl, the young woman beside, him, beside the teacher said, Excuse me, teacher, can I show you something? And she opened the bag and she said, You know, this is the piece of paper that, that, that my classmates gave me some years ago. And the other man said, I have mine, it's in my wedding album. And the, and the, the other guy said, Excuse me, it, it, I, I placed it. In, in my diary and the other person said uh, m mine is, is on, the, on, the dr on the front of my desk all these years and, and one of them said my gosh all, all of us we, we've kept that piece of paper all of us and that's how much we need an inner parrot that says you're beautiful and you're wonderful and you're lovely that's how much we need someone to tell us. You need to love the sinner and the saint within you. And we're going to pray that God heals you. God heals you so that you can rise. You want to get rid of your addictions? You know why we have many bad addictions and bad habits? Because we're running away. We're running away from painful emotions. But if you start loving yourself and allowing God to love you, you won't need to escape. You won't. Hi, 
This is Bo Sanchez and I'd like to invite you to be part of the Kerygma family. Be part of this ministry. Join my hand and together we can change the world with the love of God. We do work in Anoim, our work for the poorest of the poor, bringing street people and giving them a home. We also share the love of God through TV and radio and the internet and print media. And if you become my partner and give a monthly love offering to support this ministry, I will send you Kerygma magazine every single month to nourish your soul and to give you daily reflections every single day in your inbox. And I will send you my latest book, uh, The Eight Secrets of the Truly Rich, one of them at least, one of my latest books, for for your soul to, to make you grow in the Lord. Be part of this ministry. All you have to do is log on to www.kerygmafamily.com. Log on and, and follow the, the whole page and you know r- write the answers. And yes, join my hand and together we can change the world with the love of God. Let's pray together, brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray right now a blessing for your life. Receive it for today. And for the next few days, receive the power and the grace and the mercy of God in your life. In Jesus' name, especially in the areas of your need. May God be your provider and healer right now. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for watching Preacher in Blue Jeans. And you know what? You can be my partner. Log on to www.kerygmafamily.com and together let's change the world for the Lord. Be my partner. Hold my hand. This is Bo Sanchez here in Preacher in Blue Jeans, nourishing your soul every day. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to Kerygma Family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.